Hey there folks, so this is an update to my fruit fly um, mite prevention. I have went away from the shoebox containers and now use this um, drawer system. Alright, so um, this is a Sterilite Ultra Carp. There's two of them stacked on top of each other. I don't know if they're really meant to stack on top of each other. When I first got them, like, they were, like, where the tops meet. It was just too wobbly. So, I put some Gorilla Tape on the sides and where they meet down there, and it's solid. Alright, so, I have, let's just get into this first. Alright, so here's some cultures. So, we have... A drink tray down here. I get them from my father. He drinks a lot of soda. I don't touch the stuff. Um, it's like the 16 ounce bottle. Like six packs flats. They fit in here perfect. Well not perfectly. But they fit right in here. Also with this flat. You're going to want to. There's um, usually holes in the corner. I put um, hot glue at the corners. So the DE wouldn't get out into the drawers. I mean, if you really wanted to, you can not use the flat and just pour the DE into the bottom of the drawer. But, no, I'd rather have the flats. I can pull the flats out and um, dump out the old Diatomascius or and um, put um, new stuff in. Alright, so under the, um, the culture, so you have the drink flap. Dia Tamascius earth and then these um, plant trays here these these particular plant trays are really the only ones that fit I think ace hardware ones might fit but I do know the lows like they taper down way too much and because they taper down way too much the cultures don't sit down and, and meet meet these little nubs the feet so when I make new cultures I go ahead and wash the plant trays. Yeah, it's kind of overkill, but yeah, it, I like to keep things clean and whatnot. All right, so here's Golden IDI. Then here I have there's some bean beetles in the back. Um, these are um, regular IDI. These are um, Melanogaster. Down here, pretty much the same thing, but they're producing, or they're um, on their way to be producing. So, what I do is I'll just pull these two out, move those up, and then make new um, cultures. Um, put the new cultures in there, and then put them in the bottom. Alright, if you ever have any issues with... Um, like if you're storing your um, cultures in a cabinet or anything like that. I mean, you don't have to use this drawer system. You can get the drink flat and just have have it sitting around. But I mostly did this because, mostly because of the smell. There's only this little bit of opening. I haven't had any issues with soupy cultures. There was a couple that I put too much water in. So... You can get this at Dollar Tree. So when you pull the um, foil off, there's like this pretty much same thing as coffee, as like a coffee um, filter. But anyways, um, what I do is I, I take a culture cup, a 16 ounce can, um, container. I, got, I think I got some orchids or something in here. I cut almost the entire bottom off except for the there's like a little bit left to, for a lip so put hot glue on there slap the screen on there then you have a coffee filter with a rubber band on top so this um sits right down in there and it gets rid of the excess moisture and i haven't had any issues with it actually pulling too much moisture and it causing cultures to dry out this right here is full because I have a greenhouse over here 
and I've been keeping it down there on that um, on the shelf underneath it. All right, so um, the people that the person that asked me about this, and the main reason why I'm making this video, mentioned Josh's frogs. Josh's frogs is notorious for mites. Also, they sell these punch lids. These punch lids, like, they're not all like, I mean, you can just look at it and just tell that the holes, get those semen, there we go. The holes aren't consistent. Some are smaller, some are bigger. And sometimes you'll get some that have holes that are too big. And the flies will just walk right out of the cultures. I saw that at a convention, um, the last convention I went to. There was flies everywhere. So, um, what I had, the problem I had with these were, they would, um, the local, like, fruit flies and stuff would, um, lay eggs on the lid and they and the larva and larva would crawl through the lid or they were breeding through the holes i don't know but i opened up a culture one day and i got a face full of flyers so i don't recommend getting fruit fly products from josh's frogs they have many great items but i stay away from their fruit fly stuff i only use these punch lids whenever i'm making cultures so i'll make the cultures and then put this one on top um so the condensation while it's cooling down doesn't um, make my um, fabric filters wet so yeah I've had cultures from Josh's frogs that just had um, the tape on top was just full of mites I'll insert a picture here So, that's how I don't have any mites. You don't have to go to this extent, but if you put more effort into, if you give things the best effort and put money into things, you'll see the, you'll reap the rewards. Because there's nothing that sucks. Like, like whenever I had that flying fly issue, it was like, I had to redo all my cultures and order new cultures. I did have one bout of mites and I had to redo my entire flies. So yeah, hopefully you find this helpful. Later folks.